One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. Link is in the description. All right, enjoy the video, guys. All right, here we go, folks. Round two today, September 8th, 7 o'clock market time. Market is and has been selling off in the after hours due to some corona related news. So, AstraZeneca COVID 19 vaccine phase three study put on hold. Let's talk about state of the market, basically. Okay. State of the market here. The queues in terms of after hours, it, it, we're, we're in a tech driven market. So ZM is still, you know, this is the, this is the crazy run. Okay. This is the crazy run. We're still holding this 300 level. You know, I think it was just, I think personally, we just, we're resetting as far as price goes. We're having a bit of a reset. We're having a bit of a correction. We got way ahead of ourself. Um, Spy, I really wanted, let me just throw this on here for just a second. I really like this, this uh, looking at the nine EMA on the weekly time frame. And I think if I'm not mistaken, and I don't even know, I don't know if he's in here or not, but this is something that uh, Stock Slayer likes to do, Stan Stock Slayer, um, that when he likes to, when he's riding these like week long trends <clears throat> for like months and months on end, he'll use the nine EMA on a weekly time frame. Um, and I'm a big fan of that when it comes to riding a trend and really getting those kind of like good, good exits. So on to, tomorrow, we're likely going to open under 333 unless something happens overnight. Okay. So if you notice this, <clears throat> the market has been holding the nine ever since April 13th, really. So the nine EMA is a good thing to reference in terms of trend <clears throat> kind of following those trends. So if you notice this, we hold the nine this entire time, right? Nine, hold the 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 nine. No, I'm not long ZM, but I do like the setup. Is it, ever since the reclaim of the nine on April 13th, we've done nothing but support it, okay? for the last, what is that nearly? I mean, that's five months. We've supported it for five months until, until now. So it's very plausible to kind of break down and test these levels. If we hit this level, this 323 zone, uh, like, dude, I'm, I'm long in the market again. Even if I'm, I mean, I, I'm just, I'm doing it again. I'm doing it again. I'll do it again until I go broke. Like, <laughs> I'm just, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. it. This doesn't feel like this, okay? You know, when it all, when it hit 323, I don't, I don't know if any of you were here back in June, but when it did this right here, you know, everybody thought it was going back to 250. And then it just supported 300 and then da 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 and then off to the races we go. And so let's have a look at the mini, little mini Dow. Little baby Dow. Baby Dow doing the same thing. Baby Dow doing the same thing. Touching that nine, touching that nine, touching that nine, touching that nine, touching it. And <clears throat> the Dow is still not at all time highs. And so it, you know, it could be that the market obviously was led by tech. But it could be that, you know, we've kind of double topped here in the other arenas, such as the Dow. In Q, obviously, we've just, we jammed straight freaking parabolic. Now we've broken below the nine. And so for Qs, I'm kind of eyeing this 250 level. I'm eyeing this 250 level for a potential bounce on that. I, I just don't, I don't see a, like a sell-off again. Like another sell-off coming. I mean, call me crazy and stubborn. I just don't see it. I don't see it coming. And the reason why I don't see it coming is if you look at the VIX. Let's look at the VIX in the after hours here. Hey guys, my name is Tosh Bradley. I'm one of the head mentors and monitors at My Investing Club. If you have any questions about getting started in trading, getting started in MIC, MIC in general, text me at 213-458-5997. This is not a robot. It is me directly on the other end of my business line and uh, we'll get you in the club. We also have special promotions going on that I can get to you depending on your trading needs. Hit me up. Back to the video. 
Okay, so VIX in the after hours is, I mean, it, it's barely up, okay? Barely up. We had a little bit of a peak, but I mean, look at this. Just pure sell. All sells. Sell, 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 sell. Just since the market opened right here, right? Right here. Since the market opened, fear has decreased. Increase, decrease. Okay, now increase again with this COVID vaccine shit. But I mean, I just, are we not past that yet? Are we not past Corona affecting everything we do? So, all right, back to what we're talking about here. Let's look at Tesla. God have mercy. Woo, Lord Jesus. So, <clears throat> Tesla, I would love the shit out of Tesla at 277. Man, I would really like to, <laughs> I'd really like to long it there. I'm going to be honest with you. I would long the shit out of Tesla at 277. I honestly, what I'm looking for here, and I'm just going to be cautious about this. So 277 is kind of where I, what I've calculated as being um, key for the trend to hold is this level right here. I don't know what that looks like on a daily time frame. Uh, let's look at that. Oh shit. Yeah. Lines up with support and everything. I mean, this would be like really ideal, you know, somewhere in this 285, 277 level, like the whole dollar or 300 is going to be a big one, right? We tested that after hours, didn't we? Not quite. Close enough though. It's fucking Tesla. Uh, I mean, just nasty, nasty day. What's Apple doing? Has the top on Apple blown off yet? It's still not an exhaustion gap. Like I'm, it's still not an exhaustion gap. You know what I'm saying? Like that's still not, like we're still not there. Like it, I mean, in, in terms of Apple, we're, you know, we're, we're looking okay. We're looking all right. All right, all right, all right. You're going to learn today. Okay. Um, and now you're getting this, like people are buying the dips and everybody would uh how is apple coming up with the new cell phone see the news like the the events on apple used to be like a big thing and it always led to like good trading on apple every september over the last few they've really kind of been like really lax um this one i think it is going to be interesting what is it like the 15th or some shit like that for Apple when they do their normal conference, the 15th. Okay. So what's that next Tuesday? Okay, cool. No new iPhone. You know what's new. You got to buy your own charger. <laughs> I really, here's my plan of attack guys. Okay. So let's just share this and I'm going to kind of break this down for you. This is really what I want to see for for uh, anything, okay? You want this followed by this, and I will undo that. This is the type of setup we wanna see in the market. This is what we call first green day, okay? Or the FGD, entry point, okay? That right there is your long signal. All right, that right there is your long signal because the odds are for the following day, the odds are that we're going to gap up and we're probably going to have a strong move that day. This is what I want to see. Whether you play it in the market, whether you play it in stock, whatever you do, um, whatever you do in this, the risk is pretty defined in most cases. Okay, the risk is pretty defined in most cases. In most cases, you'll either risk red green, so you risk a green red move, or you know somewhere a little under that, or you're going to risk these prior lows right here, just depending on your taste. All right, this is on a daily time frame, so this is like day one, day two, day three, day four, day five. Okay, this is what you want to see. It can be a little jacked and a little manipulated and a little and a little different, but Let's kind of take a look at some charts now, okay? Let's have a look back at this. So in terms of chart, I mean, you see it right here in Tesla. The entry on that chart is the high of the day on the fourth day. No, it's the first day it closes green. 
There's many different, uh, let me give you a great example of this and it couldn't be any more textbook and it happened on Home Depot like last year, right there, okay? So you had earnings, earnings disappointed, we sold off, we sold off, we sold off, we started to bottom, the range is getting less, okay? Range is less and then you get this big, like rebound candle here. This day right here, you're buying into the close or you're buying the green, the red green move or you're, you're, you're buying with a set risk. And sometimes it'll happen overnight. Sometimes it will happen intraday, okay? But most times it ends up looking something like this, okay? And you wanna get this little whoop, little swoosh. Um, that is really what you're looking for. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.